Welcome back, everyone. As the boys of summer take a break for this year's 78th annual All-Star Game on Tuesday, there is a book about baseball that is sure to pique the interest of baseball fans, especially those here in the New York area. The book is called Welcome to Pottersville, and the author, Neil Spagna, joins us now to talk about it. Neil, thanks so much for taking time out of your Sunday. Thank you. We appreciate it. Welcome to Pottersville. Right off the bat, it's an odd title for a baseball book. The, the subtitle, so to speak, would be How the Yankees Took Over New York and Why the Mets Matter More Than Ever. Tell me about the title. Well, for the last 10 years or so, um, New York to me as a baseball town has seemed to be uh, more of a Yankee town. Um, and really? <laughs> it, it has. <laughs> and um, so I was... Um, you know, really just thinking about that, thinking about, boy, why am I such a, why am I a Mets fan when everyone around me seems to be a Yankee fan? And um, at the same time I started to write this book, um, it was around the holidays, and um, It's a Wonderful Life, with the famous sure. uh, classic uh, Christmas movie was uh, being played a lot. And I saw a great metaphor between, you know, the Baileys and Potter and, you know, the whole idea of, well, New York seems a lot like Pottersville as far as a as a baseball town. It's a lot about winning and money and power, um, yet there's still a lot of us that are, are Mets fans, and we don't always win. And you are a huge Mets fan. You wrote this book, but you say this book is for really all fans. Yankees fans would like this as much. Why? Well, I think we all know the reasons why the Yankees are so great and they have so many fans, and, and it's, it's really clear why you would root for the, for the Yankees. There really isn't a book about you know, what's in the heart of a Met fan and why a Met fan, uh, you know, continues to root, f root for the team despite the fact that they lose more than they win. I think something, something you do in this book is great. You start all chapters with a quote, many of them from George Steinbrenner himself. And as I was looking at this book today, this one uh, catches my eye. It's perfect. It says, uh, and this is a quote. You, you quote mm -hmm. him here saying, winning means everything. You show me a good loser and I'll show you a loser. <laughs> that's from George Steinbrenner. That, that's right. Why did you choose to quote him so much? Um, well, obviously, he's Mr. Potter, right. you know, if you, if you remember the movie. Yeah, if you're uh, keeping with the metaphor, sure. That's right. And, um, you know, I just, I use a lot of quotes. I also, the, the book is not written so much in chapters as it is in innings. Right. Yeah, and, first inning, second inning, sure. Yeah. And, um, you know, it just, it made, it made for a lot of fun, the dichotomy between the Yankees and the Mets, and I think it really shows itself with Steinbrenner. And finally, you, you're a business executive, right? Mm -hmm. Most of these books are written by sports writers. How did you decide to do this? It's, you know, in stark contrast to what you do for a living. Well, at the time, I was um, just turning 30, uh, excuse me, just turning 40. I wish I was turning 30. And um, I was <laughs> kind of taking inventory of my life, you know, kind of looking at where you know, where I came from, where I might be going, and, you know, I saw my, my, my father was getting older, and originally I just wanted to, like, write a book that, you know, my father could read, and then my son and my grandkids could read someday, and um, it just metamorphizes itself into this book, which Well, it's, you know, it, it's, it's written with a great sense of humor, just if for people out there, on the back of it alone, there are some ringing endorsements, my favorite, I love your book, Daddy, Jack Spagna, age four. So... <laughs> If you liked it, that's really all that counts in the end analysis. Thanks right. so much for taking time. Thank you. An interesting book. I'm going to look forward to reading more of it. If you're interested in yourself reading an excerpt from Neil's book, Welcome to Pottersville, you can log on to our website, 7online.com, and you can get it there. Meantime, in the immediate future, look at today's top stories when we come back. But first, here's Diana Williams with a look at what's coming up on Up Close this morning.